Hi guys, Jay here from BornToProduce.com and in today's quick video we're going to have a look at the Arranger track and what it's used for, so let's take a look. So the Arranger track's main function is to help you try out different arrangements or structures of your track to see what combination works best for you. And it does this without you having to copy and paste large sections of the track, like for example this section here, you don't have to delete it and then move this section over here along and all that kind of stuff, it just does it automatically for you. So if you want to just quickly switch around the chorus and the bridge, or if you want the verse repeated for example, you haven't got to copy and paste it, you just quickly just press a button and it does it for you, so it's really really cool. So let's show you how that's done, all you do is just right click here, add a range of track, or of course you can go to plus here and go to more tracks and a range of track is there, or project, add track, arranger. Okay, so now we have our arranger track, what we need to do is just draw in some segments. So either holding Alt or Option, or grabbing the draw tool up here, you can draw in some sections. So this is going to be intro, I'll just name it up here. That would be verse one, but I won't bother doing the whole track I'll just do this very very quickly and um, we've got like the uh, bridge or the pre-chorus here people call it different things pre-chorus and, and then we've got the chorus here so you can color these as well whatever you want so for example up here there you go make it orange and you can name them obviously as well so Okay, so now with the arranger track highlighted in the left hand side in the inspector, you can now see the segments that you just created. Uh, you can also go to the arranger editor by pressing this E button, E for edit, and you get the same thing but in a separate window. And incidentally, you must have this switched on here, activates arranger mode. So when it's orange, your arranger mode is active, and when it is not orange, it's not active. So if your arranger track doesn't seem to be doing anything, then make sure that it's activated. And needless to say, with it switched off, it's literally just going to play through as it is in the project window. But if we wanted to have the pre-chorus first, for whatever, whatever reason, before the verse, let me show you how to do that. So let's switch it on, and we'll just double click pre-chorus to put it up in the chain. This is where the chain goes and arrange a chain one, you can rename it here, or you can create a new chain if you want to maybe do two chains to see which one's best, you can duplicate, or you can flatten, I'll come to flatten in a bit, but you can rename the chain if you want. So, in our example, we want pre-chorus before the verse, just as an example, and then we'll have intro, and then we'll have chorus, rather than intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus. Okay, so what we need to do is just highlight the play button on the pre-chorus, so it goes to that position. And so we're going to play the sequence now, and instead of it going from pre-chorus to chorus, as it would normally, it's going to jump back to the verse. There you go. So let's just... Do that again, but with the arranger track deactivated. And there you go, it continues on to the chorus. So you get the idea of how that works, and if you want, uh, let's say, that pre-chorus to repeat, put in two there. And there you have it, that, that little section there repeats twice. So as you can see, it's very easy to try out new structures, new arrangements for your track to try and get that killer combination that works for you, for that whatever particular style you're working on. And it saves you having to highlight whole areas, delete them, and then copy and paste this one over, or you know moving this section over, whatever. It's just so, so much easier. It's a brilliant, brilliant tool. And also it helps as a visual aid at the top as well. It tells you where in the song you are. So that, that's, I really, really like the arranger track. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is how to 
flatten the track, which actually means transfer what you've done here onto the project window. So once you're happy, you press flatten track and Cubase arranges your track in the project window as per the arranger track, which has now disappeared. So the intro is right up here on bar 25 instead of being right at the start. The pre-chorus is right at the start. And there's the second repeated version of the pre-chorus and it then goes into chorus. As it goes into the verse. And it's the chorus and then it goes intro and then it goes to chorus so okay you you wouldn't arrange your track this way but i'm just giving you the example so that's it guys uh, incidentally the track you're hearing is from our rock course where i show you how to record and mix an entire rock track that's what you've been listening to and uh, I hope this video has been helpful for you guys, and I'll see you all soon. See ya. Bye-bye.